new horror VHS haul. It's been too long. What's up guys, welcome to a brand new horror VHS haul. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Uh, quick shout out Dan Wolf. Me and him are constantly like going back and forth with our, our VHS hauls on Killer Flicks. And uh, I, I was at the local flea market here in Melbourne, Florida. And this flea market's huge. I mean, it just has all kinds of great stuff. I mean, action figures, I mean, just movies, everything. But VHS, it's still kind of hard to find. And then I was like at the end, of the flea market and then I, I'd given up hope and then there was this one store and there were like thousands of VHS tapes. My wife had to drag me out of there. Oh, if I could interject here real quick, I just, uh, this is actually like the next day or maybe two days later, but uh, I just got a package from my good friend, Woody Bowen. And um, I know what this is sort of, but I don't know exactly what it is. But Woody Bowen is a, a very talented artist and he actually created the design for the drum dums t-shirt and the uh, killer flicks t-shirt uh, which you see here on the screen right now he wanted to send me something really nice he knows I'm such a huge fan of this the crow which this is this is in this video I actually picked up this VHS this weekend um, and you know I'm just such a massive fan of this movie but he said hey I, I I'm gonna send you something so I'm gonna open it up for you guys right now. So that way you guys can see it. And hopefully I don't lose my shit. So I'm gonna tear it from the back. Okay, I think I got it. It's coming out now. Okay, this says read me first. Uh, so I'm gonna read this. Woody, you're so organized and neat. I wish I was like that. Okay, it says, hey Lee, I know you wanted a print of the crow painting, but I couldn't bring myself to do that. I did, however, put together a nice little package for you. The three items are numbered from one to three, in the order you should open them enjoy all right cool uh woodenator designs and this is a link to his uh twitter page right here so and uh, he has instagram too so yeah be sure to give him a follow people this guy is so talented and he definitely deserves it okay so here's number one it says this is just a little something i thought you might enjoy maybe even backdrop worthy cool it's nothing special just a simple piece of artwork that i printed on some photo paper that you can either frame or just display in the uh, protector uh, that I placed it in. Oh, that's awesome. Killer flicks. That is badass. Oh, that looks beautiful. You got all the horror icons there and you got the uh, lament configuration. Cool. I love it. That is definitely going on my backdrop. Let's go number two. Still don't know what this is. Oh, I see the back of it. Oh my God. It's me as the crow, drum dumps. That is bad. Oh my God, that's badass. Wow, that is insane. I am like in shock. And I wish I had those abs. Wow, that is, go I'm at a loss. And I'm gonna put this right here. Look at the work that, that Woody put into that. That's, I'm just like speechless. That's insane looking. Wow, okay. All right, number three, here we go. We could have stopped this thing right here. I, I would have been completely flabbergasted. That is insane. Trying to be very careful with this. And I'm gonna let you guys see it first. I see a little bit of the shadow here, but you guys see it. Is it, is it awesome? Okay, I'm gonna look at it now. That is insane. Wow. It just makes me feel sad that Brandon Lee's gone. That's just beautiful. Brandon Lee, people. Look at that. Well, that's that's uh, that's definitely going on my wall. I mean, this thing looks like it would cost, I don't even know. Thank you so much, Woody. Oh, I'm, I'm literally speechless. Okay, guys, back to the VHS goodies. I'm, there's no way I'm gonna top this, but uh, you know, I guess I'm gonna start you off with a bang, right? 
But I do have some really good VHS goodies, so definitely stick around for that. But wow, Woody Bowen, uh, you, I don't even have to tell you how talented he is. You just, you just saw it. So be sure, do me a favor, check out his uh, Twitter page, check out his Instagram page. He's also on Killer Flicks. Become a member of Killer Flicks, chat it up with him. He's like one of the nicest guys I've ever met too. Uh, wow, thank you so much, good sir. Okay, uh, back to the VHS movies. Uh, so I got quite a few. I'm gonna run through them real quick so you guys can see them. Uh, and one of them is right there actually. And I grabbed this one because this is a movie I've never even heard of. And I love grabbing like old video nasties. Like Splatter University was one. I got that one, I never even heard of it. Uh, but uh, this one's called Demon Seed. It's from 1977. Julie Christie. So I've never even heard of this movie, but I mean, look at look at that thing. I'll even that old case. It's just really worn. Like to me, if the, the the like nastier looking, the more worn looking, the better. But yeah, if, if any of you guys know anything about this movie, Demon Seed, let me know. Okay, so here we go. Just gonna run right through them. This is Army of Darkness. Evil Dead, the third part of it. As one of my favorite lines is from Army of Darkness. Right now you're in charge of two things, Jack and shit, and Jack just left town, baby. Next up, one of my favorite movies, my second favorite movie of all time, The Crow. I used to have this on VHS back in the day when it first came out. I remember going to the video store and renting this uh, when it first came out. I love this movie so much, and I believe this is the only way you can watch the full interview, last interview with Brandon Lee. Uh, on the DVD, they didn't put the full thing on there, but it's on here. Uh, or at least it was on one of the VHS editions. So, yeah, and you could probably find it on uh, on YouTube, though. And then we have The Shining, of course. Everybody loves The Shining. And look at that, that VHS cover art. Just gorgeous. One I was really looking for that I didn't find was uh, I Spit on Your Grave. That is my favorite VHS cover. And unfortunately, I could not find it. But here's one, another one, uh, Christine. John Carpenter's Christine. That one looks glorious. And a David Fincher classic, Panic Room. I, I love David Fincher's. I wish David Fincher would just do a straight up horror movie. I heard he's doing um, um, World War Z 2. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that. Let me know in the comments if you guys know any updates on that. But, but I heard he's directing that. Now this one, Red-Blooded American Girl, is a movie that was on Cinemax, I think, when I was a teenager with Heather Thomas. It's not good at all, but... Um, a teenage boy watches these movies for one reason. Here's a classic, Nightmare on Elm Street. The first one on VHS. How insane is that? Look at the back. Beautiful. Got Johnny Depp right there on the back. And you know what, I, I couldn't resist. I know I already have Halloween on VHS, but uh, the case looks like it's in pristine condition. And I don't have one with just a regular like slip case. So yeah, there's what the, the front looks like. But I had to have, and this is the Blockbuster exclusive. And I think I bought this one back in the day, too. And the very first and only movie I've ever seen at a drive-in movie theater, Cycle 3, which I think Cycle 3 is highly underrated. Watch the guitar. Jeff Fahey is just gold in this movie. Anthony Perkins actually directed it, and I think it's got one of the most underrated scores, too. Like, nobody talks about the score to Cycle 3, but it's very unique. Here's one that you might not have heard of, Runaway, with Tom Selleck and Gene Simmons. Gene Simmons did a few movies. As a matter of fact, I got Wanted Dead or Alive too. I did that in a previous VHS haul. But uh, I like some of those old Gene Simmons movies from the 80s, from Kiss, and he always played a good bad guy. You guys are gonna kill me for saying this, but I have never seen the original Night of the Living Dead. But wait, the reason I waited is because I was hoping to find this on VHS because I want the first time that I, that I see Night of the Living Dead to be on VHS. I can't talk, I've been recording for like, an hour now but look at that cover too it's in great condition next up this is a, a 2000 slasher valentine which still does not have a blu-ray release jay you can see it's got the previously viewed 4.99 blockbuster i remember blockbuster used to sell these in droves five bucks i got it for 50 cents by the way i got like over 20 of these and i got them for ten dollars total get you a vcr if you want to do this and you can find some dirt cheap deals out there. Here is Urban Legend, which is one that I'm definitely planning on reviewing soon and that's gonna be a VHS review. So it might even be my next VHS review. I've been getting a lot of requests to when is like when is the VHS review returning? It's, it should be ret uh, returning pretty soon. I actually have Jolene, the, the old TV over there in that closet. So I'll have to pull her out 
and uh, you know make make some kind of special setup. Okay, um, we got a couple Blade movies here, Blade One and Blade Two. They had those there. Uh, I remember when I saw Blade Two, saw Blade Two, saw Blade Two in the theater, and I thought the special effects were like amazing when they're you know the fighting scenes. And now when you watch them, it's painfully dated, but uh, it's still a good movie. Uh, Guillermo del Toro directed Blade Two, and Ron Perlman is excellent in this, and of course Wesley Snipes. And but the, the first Blade is classic. Steven Dorff, most underrated villain I've ever seen in a horror movie. And then here's a Brandon Lee movie, Showdown in Little Tokyo with Dolph Lundgren. How cool is that? Now I do have Alien 3 um, in um, one of the, the bigger cases, but this is like your standard case and I saw that and I thought I'll, I'll jump all over that too. So I think I have all the Alien movies now. I, I might not have the first one though, I'll have to look. Some of these my son actually puts in his room. Like, I got Back to the Future. He put that in his room. And uh, he likes the Star Wars movies, too. So he, he actually likes to collect VHS movies that he likes, that he really likes. And here's Alien Resurrection. And uh, still got the plastic on the case. It looks like it's in great condition. Yeah, it's, it's, even rewound. it's even rewound, so. And then Durant Cinema, eat your heart out. But there is Commando. And look how old that case is. It's even, like, ripping right here, which I love. I, th I think that's awesome. I mean, and look at look at the the front. The labeling is faded. Beautiful. It's even got the Be Kind Rewind on there. Video Biz. So I guess the name of the store was Video Biz. Okay, so I got four more, and two of them I'm saving for last because these are glorious. But uh, here is Die Hard with a Vengeance. God, I love Die Hard with a Vengeance. I think it's fantastic and almost as good as the first one. Maybe even as good as the first one. And then Final Destination. I actually recently reviewed Final Destination, but now I got it on VHS. And I, if, if, if it annoys you that I move these around, it's because my lighting, and I might get stuck in an area where there's, there's like too much light on it. So that's why I move it around so you guys can get a good picture of it. Okay, here we go. Last two. I'm going to start with this one. This is the original Friday the 13th. How badass is that? Like, if you have any movie on VHS, Friday the 13th is like made for VHS. And I have part five now, thanks to Dan Wolf, but now I have the first one. I also have Jason X, actually. So I'm, I'm patient, but slowly but surely, I'm gonna try to get all the, uh, the Friday the 13th on VHS. And then lastly, A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2, Freddy's Revenge. I just posted in Killer Flicks like last week. I was posting some love for this movie. I think it's like one of the most underrated nightmare movies. And uh, it's so unique. I think Mark Patton, I think Mark Patton does such a great job as Jesse. Uh, this is just a really good movie, actually. Uh, Freddy is darker in this movie than he is in any of the other movies. So I, I really enjoyed Part 2. It's got some funny stuff in it, but it's, it's great. And look at that, just to show you, look at that, isn't that crazy? That's amazing. The uh, the label on the back on the, on the side is faded. All right guys, that's it. That is my VHS horror haul. Um, so I, I, I probably won't be doing another one of these for a while because uh, I pretty much took everything horror that I could find in the store. So I probably missed some though, because like I said, this guy had like thousands of titles. So anyway, um, do you like VHS? Am I wasting my time? No, I'm not wasting my time. I love this. This is my little hobby. But So if you collect VHS tapes, let me know in the comments some of your favorites. And you can get a VCR on like eBay. Matter of fact, uh, Matthew Meyer was asking me, hey, where can I get a VCR? If you go on eBay, you can get one for like 40 bucks. So yeah, I got like three of them. So anyway, guys, that's it. Go to the Drum Dumbs merch store. Get you a, a, a Fuck Off Wade t-shirt if you want or one of the other uh, Killer Flicks t-shirts or a Drum Dumbs t-shirt. Also, be sure to come over to Killer Flicks, become a member where we talk horror all day and every day and on Fridays, do Free Fraud Fridays. If you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and drum them out.